at one time, the American bison or buffalo roamed wild across the Midwest in numbers too great to count. But overly aggressive hunting practices pushed the American bison to the brink of extinction in the 19th century. Today, you'll only find buffalo on ranches that raise them for their hide or meat, and on reserves in national parks, like the ones found here at the Neil Smith National Wildlife Refuge. Like buffalo, white-tailed deer in Iowa were also nearly hunted to extinction. In 1936, it was estimated that the size of the deer population in Iowa was only 500 to 700 animals. Today, it's estimated that our state is home to over 200,000 deer, thanks in large part to herd management practices adopted by the Iowa DNR. The growing wind of helicopter propellers is a familiar tune for some of Iowa's wildlife biologists. Every winter, after a fresh coat of snow, DNR deer specialists take to the air for a mathematical exercise in herd management. We're just, we're looking for, for deer, quite simply. Uh, we, we survey the same areas every year. Uh, we do it as best we can at the same uh, speed, altitude, under the same weather conditions, if we can. The aerial surveys on a statewide basis, we, we, we do aerial trend surveys on approximately um, 350 areas um, throughout the state. Um, they're one of five different trend surveys that we utilize in the state. Tom Litchfield is one of the DNR deer program biologists tasked with estimating Iowa's herd population and developing hunting recommendations for public review. Alongside depredation specialist Bill Binger, Tom's task seems simple, to count every deer you see from a bird's eye view. You learn sh um, sh images to search for, and, and depending on if the sun's out or if it's cloudy, um, different color patterns and things like that. Um, Obviously, when we're doing these aerial surveys, it's impossible to see, see every deer. Um, and I think if most people tried it, they'd find out that, that seeing deer from the air, even though that it seems like it would be real easy, it, it definitely takes, a, takes an eye and, and some time to develop an act for it. Tom and Bill emphasize that aerial deer surveys are only a sliver of the overall herd estimations. DNR specialists gather roadkill data from the Iowa DOT. They count salvage tags. They also conduct spring spotlight surveys, and they compile harvest numbers from annual deer hunts. Those hunting seasons account for nearly 90% of the mortalities in Iowa's white-tailed deer, which leads the average Iowan to wonder, is it as simple as having too many or too little deer? It's not that simple, but that is how you have to look at it. And so what we as a department have to try to do, the Department of Natural Resources, is, is balance that deer resource in amongst a lot of, of um, social opinions that are often in direct conflict with each other. Iowa DNR deer counts have reached some interesting conclusions, sometimes contrary to popular belief. Many Iowans believe that the state's deer population has grown exponentially in recent years, but... That would be incorrect. Um, the, the deer herd has actually been declining now for the last several years. Um, it's, it's looking like this spring when all the analyses are completed that the deer herd will, will be real close on a statewide basis to, to being back down to the mid to late 1990s levels. Despite DNR data showing a population peak in 2006, Iowans suffering from missing backyard gardens may find it hard to believe but one protected neighborhood doesn't resemble an entire state. Deer have adapted to living around people, and, and if they have a place where they can have cover, food, and water, and not get shot at, then, then that's a place they, they'll tend to, to like to stay around. Numerous Iowa cities and municipalities have adopted population control measures like limited bow hunts. Data from this aerial survey of Four Mile Creek in central Iowa could help DNR specialists and local officials determine if their controlled archery hunts are working. Real important for us, it's, it's, it's the only way we're gonna know. It, it helps us target not only what's going on across the area as a trend, but it helps us look at some of the areas a little closer and pinpoint some of the, the more problem areas and where they may or may not be as quite as effective with the hunt, for example. That accuracy is just one arrow in the quiver of data gathering for the Iowa DNR. Next season's deer hunt may have a lot to do with a handful of airborne specialists counting one by one.